The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. They serve this country well. In Jamaica, they couldn't find work. Discouraged but full of hope, they sail for Britain. Citizens of the British Empire coming to the mother country with good intent. <laughs> A generation of people um, 70 odd years ago had, had a unique opportunity to come over to this country and make a, make a better life for themselves. It's mostly my granddad. Uh, I guess we have a, a, a bit of a link to him because he came over uh, just before the 60s. So it's kind of not, not the exact same generation, but around that sort of time. Um, he came from India and started basically working his ass off. Not only for themselves personally, but for their family and, to, and for the community. Because at the time, the country just finished and, and was victorious after a second, um, after the massive um, Second World War. He used to walk from like Birmingham to Wolverhampton every day for work, and yeah, he worked his socks off and brought us over. The country needed um, as many people as possible to help it rebuild, and uh, the Windrush generation was that uh, generation to do that. Almost like the unborn, yeah, I guess. Mm. Yeah, so, so that's what started off in yeah. yeah. Well, I was born in Jamaica. Um, I was born in 1995. I came here in the year 2000, so I spent five years in Jamaica. Granddad, as I said before, um, kind of just wanted uh, a better, better life. life. Better so life. he saw Britain and, and, and said, you know, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. Yeah, I need to, I guess, I need to work as a farmer, I guess, like with picking up stuff like that. Yeah. And sometimes um, mm. manual labor stuff. As yeah, well. a lot of manual labor. Yeah. But my auntie came, um, came, uh, came to this country just three years before, so in 1997. And um, basically almost all of my entire family is, um, is from Jamaica. My great-grandfather was, um, was a farmer, my mother's father was a builder and, um, and also a father, and my father's father was a builder and, uh, and a chemist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think I'm as, as, as Indian as I am British, to be honest. I'm, I'm quite a lot more British than I am Indian, but I definitely respect respect the culture, you know? <laughs> I'm a little proud of my heritage. And when I say that, I mean um, that I think um, pride in your heritage or, um, or, or your family link should really come from individual effort rather than just being born into something that you didn't get to choose, essentially. Um, we're not like from the Windrush heritage, but we moved here from Eastern Europe. I moved here from Lithuania in 2009. Um, we moved here for better, for better lifestyle, better jobs and everything. Uh, I'm from Poland and I'm living here for four years already. Better lifestyle, there's more jobs here, nicer people, everything's better here. I moved here uh, for our main purpose, education and the other one, better job. Well, when I first came here, I didn't know any English at all, so I struggled to learn it, obviously. But now, like, even now, like, I've been here for 10 years, but I still struggle to understand certain words, and I just ask people, and they're quite understanding half the time. And I have the same problem. The main problem is language and the communication with other people. No, because they've lived here for a long time. This is where they grew up and this is their home, so I don't see why they should leave. I guess it's just law, but like for people like my granddad who just came over and worked their asses off and tried to contribute towards the country, they should at least get some you know, recognition that they were part of making the country better. I, mean, I don't think it's a fair decision. They didn't get to choose um, their parents that uh, came to this country and then they're now being negatively affected because those, their children's parents are, are now deceased and uh, as such they're, they're under threat, which shouldn't happen because they contribute to this country, they, um, they pay tax, they, they obey the law and they try to make a positive, um, um, a positive life for themselves and, um, and possibly their, uh, 
the, uh, the environment around them, so they should be able, be able to um, uh, live and die in this country like everyone else. What are you sing for us? Right now. Yes. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America, India, Asia or Australia, but you must come back to London City. I've been traveling the countries years ago, but this is the place I wanted to know, darling, London. This is the place for me.